What's going on guys? So today we're going to be learning how to do that animation effect that you just saw on this Greg Brown video that Ball is Life did. Um, first what you want to do is have obviously your clips on the timeline and you want to pick about a 20 frame span of where you want this effect to take place. So personally I wanted to start about right here. So I'm going to press command B like this and I'm going to go about 20 frames to about right here. I'm gonna press Command B again. And all I did is give us one, two, three scenes like this. And right now all we care about is this middle one. So while pressing Option or holding Option, we're gonna drag up like this, like that. And then we're gonna find our Effects tab over here and then go to Draw Mask and drag this Draw Mask on top of our um, clip right here and then we're going to make sure we're on the first frame this is important make sure you're on your first frame of this of this top clip and then make just a draw mask around the player it doesn't have to be perfect but the closer you are to him the better it will look whenever you're done with the edit so i'm just going to go all around his body like this until i reach the other side All right, so now that we have the draw mask selected all out on the first frame, we're going to go into our draw mask and we're going to make sure we press our keyframes on control points and all the transforms like this. And then we're just going to go frame by frame and just correcting the draw, the draw mask as he moves around. This part is kind of tedious. It's really the hardest part of the entire edit. It's nothing's really hard about it. It's just gonna take a lot of time to get to the end, even though it's just 20 frames. But at the end of the day, when it looks perfect, it'll definitely be worth it. So I'm just gonna go around going frame by frame like we are right now and just editing the draw, the draw points. All right, so now that we have our draw mask all keyframed, um, we're gonna go over here to our effects tab. We're gonna find cosmic looks and go to comic cool and drag that onto the top frame like this. And then we're gonna go to our colors. And I'm gonna select black and white, but we're gonna change those colors to really whatever you you decide you want to use, you could keep it black and white. I think if I change it, it will look cooler. So I'm gonna change the black to blue. I think I'm gonna change the white to maybe red. Yeah, and then I might go back and see what having red on the top looks like and blue on the bottom. I think I actually think that it looks a little bit cooler. So I'm gonna keep it that way. And then we should have something that kind of looks like this which looks pretty cool, but there, we're gonna add something that makes it a lot cooler. So we're gonna go back into our mask. We're gonna go into draw mask, draw, drag it on top onto the top one again. And I'm gonna change the view to about 25%. And then go to our draw mask and again, make sure we, um, we're on the first frame right here. And then make sure we add keyframes on our draw mask. There's gonna be two, so make sure you're on the right draw mask. So add keyframes right there. And I'm just gonna make a mask here, 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 and here. About right there. Try to make it as straight as possible. 
and then I'm going to go about two frames and then drag up just a little bit and we go two more frames and then drag it up again go two frames drag it up about right there and every time you drag it up try to keep it try to drag up about the same distance as you did previously it's not going to be perfect but if you make a conscious effort to do so I think it will look a lot smoother whenever you look at your finished product so now we're about hitting his face so we're going to go about right there go two frames right there two frames and then finish it out like this so now if we go back it should look like this and just a cool little animation that you can add into your basketball mixtapes and then once that's done rendering it should look something like this